I made the steak and asparagus mushroom stir fry that you guys are all been waiting for. And when I was filming this recipe for you guys, I decided to make it more casual, more detailed, and a little bit longer. So you guys really get the steps on how to make this delicious dinner. And I'm telling you, this is amazing. This is just sirloin steak that I got from Costco and I bought it in bulk. So I had like five pieces and we've just been kind of cooking it every day. And I promised you guys I'd make the steak and asparagus mushroom stir fry. So I'm using the last piece for you guys. A little bit of baking soda. This is like a Chinese restaurant hack or trick to tenderize your steak is to add some baking soda before you start your marinade. Mix that in. One of the top like 10 sauces that you should have in Asian household is oyster sauce. We use it in almost everything. A little bit of thick soy sauce, again, goes a long way. So now you need to balance the oyster sauce and the thick soy sauce. They're both very salty. So a little bit of brown sugar help balance that out, but not too much because we're frying this and you don't want it to burn. Pepper. I'm pretty generous with pepper when it comes to steak. And this is a marinade that you could cook right away. There's no need to wait. So with asparagus, you wanna get rid of this hard, rough part and just kind of feel it up until it snaps off. There you go. And then just snap it in there. With mushrooms, I cut the stem off right here. And because these are pretty big, just gonna quarter that. Rose and garlic. I buy my garlic already peeled and I just put it in the freezer. And because I'm just making this for our dinner, I don't really measure ingredients. I kind of just eyeball and taste as I go. Um, it's only when I make recipe videos intentionally that I actually write down all the ingredients to make sure that you guys get it right at home. This is what I love about my blue star stovetop. I get to remove this grill, put my wok, closer to the flame because you want high heat when you stir fry stuff. I don't usually recommend cooking so much steak in one batch because sometimes if the heat is not high enough, it will steam instead of fry and it will start leaking out some of the juice from the meat and then you'll get like a lot of water in in this pot and then the steak will shrink and you don't want that but I'm trying to spread it out the heat is pretty high enough that I feel comfortable cooking it in a big batch now we can mix it I mean look at that I'm just cleaning the wok with a wet paper towel I have a trick when it comes to cooking asparagus. This basically like semi-cooks the asparagus for me, so when I stir fry it, it doesn't burn on the outside and undercook on the inside. I only do it for 45 seconds to a minute, and I just drain the water. I put it back on the heat and just let the water evaporate before I add any butter. I totally forgot to add the garlic to the steak. Ah! We'll improvise. All right, butter going in. We have to use oil for the mushrooms and garlic. Mushrooms. Isn't those extra steps worth it to get this amazing steak and mushroom and asparagus stir fry? And just a little 
salt for the mushroom and asparagus. They didn't have any seasoning. And turn this heat off. See, no runny liquid there. You just get all the flavor locked into all the food. It is time for dinner. <laughs> we definitely need a taste test before we feed the family. Mm-hmm. It's like smoky and delicious. Asparagus. Perfectly cooked. I love mushrooms. Well, this one looks this one looks a little hot. All right, guys. Make it for dinner. Tell me what you think.